I'm Jennifer Seven, I'm Australian and I live on the far south coast of New South Wales on the unceded lands of the Ewan people, our original storytellers, and I pay my respects to them now. I'm thrilled and grateful to have my story titled Nobody Owns a Fire shortlisted for this year's Commonwealth Short Story Prize. It's about two men exploring a later life sexual rediscovering against a small town culture that demands conformity and secrecy. I entered it in the Commonwealth Prize because I've had some small successes here in Australia and I just wanted to spread my wings a little bit further and see what happens. So my story started with those four words, nobody owns a fire. I was out in my garden one day and I noticed that my neighbour, Jim, had started a little bonfire at, down the bottom of his yard. And the next thing I noticed was that men started showing up, neighbours. They'd just sort of wander in. And as each one arrived, he'd hand them a beer and they stood around the fire and they didn't talk so much. They just watched the flames, the odd comment here and there. And then eventually they started to drift away again. And this line came to me, nobody owns a fire. So I went inside, I thought there's a story in this and I started writing. I had no idea what was going to actually happen, but then in the story, there are just the two men left, Jim, and well, he's got a different name now, and one neighbor. And to my surprise, and this happens sometimes, one of them made a move on the other. Now, I'm not a gay male and I'm not even gay, but I asked a gay friend to have a look through this story and he gave me the thumbs up. And after all, attraction is attraction, lust is lust, and love is love. Our stories connect us.